boys, boys, I did it. I actually did it. If you'll notice here, last video, uh, she was just flatlined, my IAT. Now it works. I got her all wired up. I'm uh, pretty stoked to be able to tell you the truth. I'm more of a wrenching type of guy. I'm not a uh, wiring ECU setting up machine like most of you guys are. So the small things really uh, make me pretty happy. So yeah, um, IAT is working. So you know what that means? That means I can actually finally fucking go into tune mode and, and tune it, you know, kind of tune it up, so to say. The Australian way, got to trune the car. So, um, I have one really special fuel map right now, and uh, it actually gets the car to start. So, so yeah, now I just have to uh, go drive the damn thing and uh, adjust all these numbers, and hopefully I don't melt the piston or self-destruct like Chernobyl. So, um, that leads me to my other thing. My other thing. I'm going to cut the clip here. This thing. No, I'm not installing a fancy carbon fiber splitter on the front of my rig. This right here is from Cody Ace. Um, go check him out. Just Google him. I'm not too sure what his website is. Just Google Cody Ace Alternator Bracket. One of the biggest problems I have with the 240SX is the alternator factory SRKA is, I believe, 85 amps. Think about it. You have a fan that's 30 amps, an ECU that's probably pulling 5 amps, headlights that pull 15, um, your car deck probably pulls 2. It, it goes away very, very, very very quickly so an awesome mod you can do to your 240SX is there's a, uh, a 1996 Nissan Quest their alternator is kind of a bolt-on affair um, the best thing about the alternator is it's 125 amps which is is absolutely mind-blowing hey how you doing it's me so um, what I'm gonna do today is Cody sent me this bracket I told him I'm gonna make a video and uh, if you want to do the same shit to your car and not have a dead battery or dimming lights or any electrical issues go grab this um, I'm in Canada land and because of this fucking coronavirus plague death of shit um, our dollar is pretty crappy, but uh, this cost me $93 shipped to my door, Krona free. That's a good one. Where's the camera on this damn thing? I'm on the iPhone 11, can you tell? It's over here. How you doing? Anyway, um, let's get a whistler into us and uh, go install this. I keep looking at the fucking off button. Over here, boys. Let's get to okay, it. Okay, so it's a little windy out here, but uh, what you're gonna want to do is, you can see I've already tried a $2 bracket from Lowe's. Doesn't work, save your money, save your time. First things first, this is the SR alternator bracket. It, uh, there's one bolt right there, another one down there, and they fit together like this. Take this out first, so I'm gonna, while you take yours out, I'm gonna take out my raked up contraption. But take this out and uh, throw it all on the ground. You don't say, you wanna be a cheap ass and buy a $2 bracket from Lowe's? That's what you get. No chargey chargey, look at that. All right, so my bullshit's off. That's the tensioner. That's the Lowe's $2 special. They don't work. Throw it out. Don't waste your fucking money, boys. All right, let me get the bracket out and uh, let's go. Okay, I'm back inside my layer here and uh, I had to take the little guy apart. I took this end out 
I left the nut on it and I cut about that much off. Um, you may be wondering, why did you cut that off? Why are you needing to cut that off? Well, with this, how it comes, um, I think you need a different belt or I might have the wrong belt to begin with. Um, so it's a pandemic out there full of Coronas. So um, I don't want to go to the parts store and buy a new belt. So I cut that much off one side, went out there and I'm about that much off from getting this in the hole. No flour required, but uh, I'm, I'm literally a little tiny bit off. I'm getting this in the hole. So that side right there is fully maxed in and there's, there's plenty enough room there. So I'm going to take maybe a thread less than that. Maybe one, two, three, maybe three threads off. Just enough to get it in the hole, so to say. And then I can just do a little quick wrench there and it'll be tight. So uh, I don't have a stand or a filmer anymore because people are losers. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to put the phone down and cut this myself. Well, I would have done it anyway, but I can't film it. I don't have a filmer. I'm not cool enough for that. Prick. Before we start cutting, that's how much thread is truly inside of this thing. So I could take, where's my finger? I could take that much off. I'd still have enough threads, but I'll, I'd be able to go in a little bit further. It's a fine game. You know, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to work, cut this apart, and um, maybe drive my car around the block today. That'd be cool. I was thinking about cutting on the lines here, but at that point, I would just go to the damn park store and a hazmat suit. Progress was made. We're doing it. Great, I did it. And I have all my fingers and thumbs. That's pretty cool. That's a freaking bonus to me. So yeah, just grab some tools, back this off slowly, corrects itself. Bob's your uncle. So let me do that quick. Let's right quick. just walk it back and forth for quite a bit. You'll get some uh, like dusty dinkelmans on the end of it. Clean her out. And uh, yeah, just keep going back and forth until you know you just slip and you're good. I'll thread it back on and I'll step it back in. It's not the the prettiest thing, but she'll work. Woo! All right, it's in. She's in. I'll show you the washer setup. Ah, oh, man, come on, where are you, bud? There. I'm gonna do lock washer bushing and then all the spacers and then a washer Come on focus come on nothing dot right there bolt block washer spherical bushing all the washers and then the end washer so it's spacer and the washers if that makes sense apparently I can't speak must have the coronas um, so yeah, I just have that loosely in now. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything and uh, see if I can adjust it the way I want it to and have the right amount of slack. Let's get to it. All right, so she's tight like a tiger. She's in there. Belt's pretty decent on the slackage. Should work out. Should be, should be good. Let's do it. All right, we have power. I hear the ECU. Check, check this out. Oh yeah. Cost them. Anyway, let's see what she's got. Fresh battery in there too. Everything new. Battery light's gone. Hell yeah. Oh, I also swapped my cluster over the winter time too. 
I need to switch that down to 106. But yeah, look at that. A little stumbly, needs a tune, but it works. So again, if you have an SR20 or a KA and you're absolutely tired of going through alternators, I tell you, I've gone through four, four alternators in two years worth of, uh, of having this SR20. So um, I'm gonna put the Amazon link down below to the alternator that I bought because I approve of it. And I'm going to put the link to the uh, Cody Ace website where you can pick your own up. Um, if you want, leave them a comment saying Drift Theory Garage sent you to them. Um, I just wanna see if people will buy it from watching my video because on YouTube there isn't any um, installs. So this will be the first one, kinda, because I don't have a tripod or I don't have a friend to hold my camera. So uh, anyway, um, first fucking video in a couple of years, I, I think. Last time I checked, you know, I've uploaded little little tiny videos here and there, but uh, this is my like first how-to video back in like two years. So um, if you haven't been really paying attention, I don't have the Mega Squirt anymore. I have the ECU Master Black. Um, I wired it up, got that to work. Um, added some fuel, got my tune to kind of work. Can't really turn this around, but you know, I got her working. And uh, yeah, um, next video might be something stupid or it might be me on a dyno, who knows? But uh, until next time, um, don't let the corona get you. Stay safe.